Anyone who practices rhinoplasty is faced with the problem of bleeding. And if, as in UK, most of the operations are done under general, you must have a close rapport with your anaesthetist, who hopefully is interested in the operation, to get good operating conditions. Under a general anaesthetic, it's necessary to additionally inject. And a dental syringe is ideal, and the injection par excellence is 2% xylocaine, 1 in 80,000 adrenaline. This does not produce tachycardia because one's only using about one ample, and even when using fluorothane, most anaesthetists, if they use beta blockers, or even if they don't, will not find tachycardia. And I'm just going to run through. This patient is under GA. You'll see the patient's intubated. The anaesthetist places the tube in the midline. And I'll inject as is my practice for the type of rhinoplasty I carry out with external osteotomies. Uh, dental syringe, clean the area, and make a bleb, medial canthus, top of the nose, halfway down to bone, raise a bleb. Have a swab just to press on it for a second so it doesn't blow up, and then go to the other one, medial canthus, powerform aperture, halfway right down to bone, hopefully therefore missing the 